So in 2015, IP University, this question was asked in interim. For the given network graph, in fact, it should have been for the given graph shown in figure below, identify the tie sets and write down the tie set schedule based on the current variables. Now, as you know, the meshes which we are assuming, they really correspond to the mesh currents which were done in mesh analysis in electrical technology of semester one. So here is the graph. There are three nodes which can be seen, A, B, C, and then here are the branches. Now, on removing the outer branches, what does it mean? The example which I had given you, that this whole thing is an island in an ocean. And whatever parts are in touch with water, they are removed first. So 4, 5 and 6 are removed. We get this. This could have been a tree if there is not a mesh formed here. But you see that there is a mesh here. So now you, you have a choice. Either you can remove 1, 2 or 3. What I have done is I have removed 3. So on removal of 3, all the nodes are existing A, B and C. There are two branches 1 and 2. So we have two tweaks 1 and 2. And the rest are links 3, 4, 5 and 6. Very simple. We are asked a tie set matrix. So one by one we are going to add. So when you add 3 to it, when we add 3 to this, then you get this level. 1 and 2 in the same direction. 1 and 2 in the same direction. When we add 1 to 4, this 4 has been added here. So when 4 is added, then 4, 1, the direction of 1 is reverse. The rest are zeros. Similarly, when we add 5 to 2 here, this direction is in this direction. Opposite, 2 is opposite. The rest are 0. And when we are adding 6, then just see. If we add 6 here, 6, 1 and 2, both of them are in the same direction. You can see B is equal to B for tweaks and then a unit matrix for links. That's it. As seen here. This we can write in the matrix form as well. So this is the second example which I was talking about. Here the reduced incidence matrix of a given graph is uh, of a graph is given below, and since it's a reduced or augmented, so A A has been written. This was asked in two thousand and eighteen. I think it was of a twelve and a half mark question. So first and foremost thing is that we will make A B C for three nodes which are available here, and D node we will add so that it becomes complete incidence matrix. Then only, only we will be in a position to attempt the first part, that is draw the graph. Second is to obtain a tree. Third, to write down the cursor matrix. And fourth is to find out the Tyson matrix. So here is the graph. How this graph has been drawn? Very simple. Pick up a node A, B, C and D. As many number of nodes are there. For example, there are four nodes. Place them in a rectangular fashion or in a square fashion. If there are three nodes, place them in a triangular fashion. If there are five nodes in a pentagonal fashion, six nodes, hexagonal and so on. Just have no confusion about it. This part you won't find generally in books. Now, for A, we find that the branches which are connecting A are 3, 4, 5 and 7. But going by that direction, it will be very difficult that where is 3, 4, 5 and 7 going? Similarly, B, 2, 5, 6 and 7. So don't start in this way. Rather, see that branch 1 is connected between what? C and D. So, between C and D, place 1. And 
where is it leaving? So D, because for D it's a plus one. So it's leaving D and moving towards C. So inverted direction in this direction from D to C. Two, B to D. B to D. Three, A to C. Four, A to D. Five, A to B. Six, B to C. And seven is connecting A and B from B to A. From B to A. So this is how you construct a graph. Now we move on to selection of a tree. Same example. You have the graph. It was something like this. It's a 3D graph. Why? Because in the same plane you cannot have these two lines. It has to go into the third direction. And such graphs which are 3D graphs, they are a bit more difficult to be dealt as you will see later on. So here you will find that is the water concept. So remove this branch, remove this branch and remove this branch. Then you will obtain something like this. Now it's your choice. What I've done is I've kept one, two and three in the graph and removed five. So this one also I've removed. So the tree which has been considered is one, here two, here three. Add on the links with the red color dotted section. I have drawn all the links. Now move on to the next part that is Cartesian matrix and then Tyson matrix. The Cartesian matrix has been obtained when branch two and three are being cut. It's very easy for two, five, six, and seven are being cut. For three, four, five, and seven are being cut. But here in this diagram, it's very difficult to perceive that when one is being cut, which are the other links which are going to be cut. Because as I told you, this is a 3D graph. So we have to expand it first. We have to draw it in uh, such a manner that uh, while cutting one, everything should be in the same plane. So what we have done is, in this case, A, C and D, this part as it is. And from C, B has been drawn here. So the branch 6 is from B to C. Branch 6 is from B to C. Branch 5 is from A to B. And branch 7 is from B to A. And the rest of the diagram you can see. This is from B to D is from B to D is 2. So you can verify it. When 3 is being cut, the same, same things happen. When 3 is being cut, same. When 6 is being cut, then also you have the same. And for 1, this is the path which is to be followed. Now, as in the previous example, a person is moving from village A, which is this, to village B, which is this. From A to B, is taken plus 1. Which are the branches being cut? All, all of them. 4, 5, 6 and 7. 4, what will it be? From B to A. So minus 1. Or 6. B. Or 5. B to A. And for 7. One is moving from this shaded region to the dotted region. So it's plus one. Four is moving from dotted to shaded, minus one. Five is moving from dotted to shaded, minus one. Six is moving from shaded to dotted, plus one. And seven is also moving from shaded to dotted. 
so plus one. One thing should be remembered here. If a branch is being cut twice, then corresponding to it, you will have to place a zero. It's not there in this example, but this is just for information. If a particular branch is being cut twice, then it is not cut at all. Okay? Very simple. This is plus one for two. So for six also plus one, for seven also plus one, and for five minus one. Rest are zeros. For three, four, five, seven, three is plus one, five is also plus one, four is also plus one, and seven is minus one. The rest of them are zeros. So this is the cut set matrix that we have obtained. Now you can write it down in this way 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Sometimes they use it in this way. And then minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 0, minus 1. Now the last part of it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> now the last part for it, tie set matrix. As we know, for the link, you have a unity matrix. And it's only the twigs for which we have to decide. When we add four, four in the same direction, one, but three opposite. 5, 2, 1, 3. Ah, this is important. 5. From 5, it goes on to 2, then 1, and then 3. The basic point is, jaha se ye chalna suru hota hai, wapas usi jaga par kis raaste se pohchega. Aur ye ek pura mesh ya loop ka construction hai. The, the Path is 5, 2, 1, 3. F for 5, it's 1. What about uh, 2? 1. For a, what about 1? Again 1. For 3, it's minus 1. And the third one, 6, 1, 2. Simple. 6, 1, 2. Both of them are in opposite direction. 7, 3, 1, 2. 7, starting from B. Coming back to B. So the path is 7, 3, 1 and 2. 3 is in the same path. 1 in opposite. 2 in opposite. So for 1 and 2 there is a minus sign. And for 3 there is a plus sign. So this gives you the tie set matrix which is generated by B. You can write down in the matrix form as well. And this completes graph theory.